Hello everyone and welcome to the Beastmasters Dojo. Uh, in this video we are going to discuss about just another use case and today's use case revolves around customer service management module uh, wherein we have external users as compared to the internal users. So a quick uh, distinction between uh, an external user or an internal user could be for example I'm working as part of a Nike. I'm Nike's employee and I am an internal user so my data would be stored in sys underscore user table and now when it comes to external users for example uh, it could be some of the partners or customers Nike is working with <clears throat> now let's say Nike is supplying regular products to Cognizant employees uh, so Cognizant employees can be considered as customers uh, to Nike and if Nike is working on certain, design, certain designs and certain uh, <clears throat> other product related stuff so Nike could partner with some of the partners in the industry and those partners would also uh, have their data in the customer underscore contact table because they are external users. Now customer underscore contact table is a child table of sys underscore user table but every other person who is uh, part of customer underscore contact table have SNC underscore external role applied to their profile which means they cannot just go into the instance the native view of the instance they will be uh, taking a look at their tickets via CSM portal if they want to create a new ticket for any of the issues they need to just go to the CSM portal now one of the major concern uh, that many people have asked this question in the community that how do I make my users log in directly to the CSM portal? Because sometimes what happens is uh, in organizations, they have a default SP portal. 60% uh, of the organizations use SP portal by default and the others might have a different name for the other custom portals. So when a user who do not have enough roles in the instance logs into service now, they will be redirected to SP portal or whatever the custom portal is. Now in such a case it becomes uh, a little bit challenging for some of the developers to identify how to make a redirection to the CSM portal instead of SP portal so that users can log in to the CSM portal directly. When I say users in this case it is partners or customers. So we are going to see how we can uh, implement that and let's see how it goes so first let me try to impersonate any user and show how this works in the instance uh, whether it is already implemented on this instance or not so i'm going to pick any of the user who is already part of customer underscore contact table so let's p uh, pick up me arcade if i impersonate this user so based on the default configuration, users are directed to uh, ESC portal, like employee center, I guess this is. So it looks like in uh, PDI ESC portal is just defined, but not implemented. So I'm going to log in again with this link. Now how this redirection went to ESC portal, just because I have added two system properties in the instance and those system properties are this first one is glide entry page dot script and this is the script include that we have in the instance and the other one is glide entry first page script so if these two system properties are not present in your instance then you need to add these but uh, in majority of the cases where uh, there are redirections already happening so you can be sure the system properties are already present in your instance now the script include uh, that is being called uh, is this one sp entry page and if we go to the initialize function which is on line number 20 uh, it says the default portal there is a function getting called and if we take a look at the get default portal function it says esc is the default portal so now this confirms that everything is happening with the help of those two system properties so when I impersonated that user, that user went directly to ESC portal because of this property. Now this is 
the 90% of the solution since it is happening via this particular script include so we need to do something about this problem in this script include itself so that we can redirect it the external users to the CSM portal instead of ESC so what I can do is within this initialize function we can write a very small script uh, so that the users who are part of the contact table are redirected to the CSM portal instead of SP or any other custom portal like ESC in this case okay so It's a good practice to write comments. And, 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 and. Okay, so, um, uh, first of all, I'm t going to try to get the sys ID of the logged in user, which I can easily get via where is to get the user okay why it's not coming up I think it's capital D okay that is fine I know that this works so I can uh, write it directly now after getting the user society I'm going to add a glide query to the user table Okay, so I can write my encoded query here. Uh, if you guys just want to use query, you can just use add query instead of add encoded query. And uh, now there's a way we can differentiate between the type of users in the sys underscore user table, whether my user is actually an internal user uh, present in the sys underscore user table or it's uh, an external user present in the customer underscore contact table. Since uh, sys underscore user table is the parent table of customer underscore contact table, we will be able to see all the records within this sys underscore user table itself. So there is a field which helps us differentiate the different user types. And that field is class. So if I go by class, so you can already see the class as user or contact. So there are consumer users. There are contacts which are present in customer underscore contact table. And then there are internal users which are present in sys underscore user table. So what we need to do is right now we need to deal with the contacts. So I am going to copy this query and navigate back to my script include. And here I need to add another condition of the user's society. User's ID equals to the user ID which I have declared above. So now based on this i can easily decide whether my user is uh, an external user or uh, an internal user okay so if this returns any results that would mean my user is an external user and i can just redirect to the csm portal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this variable, this dot portal equals to. And we need to add a slash, then CSM, then slash. Okay. But 
we don't want to break what is working already for internal users so we will also write an else condition and the script that we need to write in else is already written here which is this one this dot portal equals to get default portal we don't want to change that if it is an internal user or some other kind of user but not part of customer underscore contact okay so yep so i guess we are done here let me quickly save this script include and then we will try out whether this works or not what happened what just happened oh okay thank god it is saved i just thought it's gone so let's uh, impersonate a user and we'll see if this works uh, out or not so i'm going to impersonate the same user ami arcade and let's see if this person is getting redirected to the CSM portal or not. That's neat. Okay, looks like there is some issue. Okay, so let's go back and see what's the issue because that script should work for sure. Uh, I'm going to open the script include again. And the script include name is sp entry page. Yes, it's this one. Okay, scroll down. Okay, here's the issue. This D should be capital, not small. Let's save it and try again. Okay, impersonate user. Come on, come on, come on, CSM, CSM, yay, this works. So we are successfully able to uh, redirect the external users to the CSM portal using this script. So thank you so much for watching. I'll also publish the scripts in my blog, which you can check out here. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye.